All right. Matt Patricia sucks. Matt Patricia sucks. Matt Patricia sucks. Having said that, he is arguably, I think, the worst coach in Detroit Lions history. And that's not saying much given how bad he was, but the point and where I want to go in this direction is the damage he did, I, I do think, really hurt you. It, it did set you back. And there's a reason why a lot of people gave last year as a pass to this organization and this team and this coaching staff. Hey, you know what? The the damage was so, so severe that we understand it may take an additional year than normal. But I want to know what you guys think. Just how far back did Patricia and even Quinn, if you want to combine the two, set back this franchise? And I'll tell you what. In the two drafts I've gotten since Bob Quinn has been gone, I've... Managed to draft Panay Sewell, Amon Ross St. Brown, Aiden Hutchison, Jamison Williams, Josh Pascal to be determined, Jamison to be determined. Hutch is only four games in, not losing my mind over that. But you got two legitimate starters who could go play anywhere in the NFL in your first draft. You could have that in your second draft. And you do that for a third and a fourth year, now you're talking about really building a contender. That's number one reality. Number two, coaching matters. And I am not sold on the coaching yet, but I'm also not, I'm, 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 I also haven't given up on the coaching either. So I'm, I'm kind of in the middle right now. I'm not overly impressed with the head coach. I'm not overly disappointed with the head coach. I'm still in the middle. I'm still neutral. And I'm not ready to make a decision on him yet. Having said that, what do you at home think? Let's go to Eric out in Detroit. Eric, you're on the Morning Woodward Show. What do you got for us this morning, buddy? What's up, guys? What's up, man? What's going on? Nothing much. Y'all know I can't. I called in Monday, went on my little rant. But I had some time to woosa, think about things. <laughs> Adam, I'm kind of with you on this. Because if you look at the damage that Patricia did, if you look at the secondary, we had Condre Diggs, we had Deary, we had Slate. We don't have them no more. Mm-hmm. Linebackers, linebacker, this sucks forever. We don't have a starter in the linebacker core unless you say Malcolm Rodriguez up front. Aiden Hutchinson and McNeil will probably be the only two starters on this league in any other team. So if you really look at it, other than Tracy Walker in the backfield in the uh, secondary now, we don't have a starter unless you say Akuda is finally the, starting to tap into his potential. So it's like Matt Patricia, he traded away all our stars. Why? Because they was being they self. That was stupid. Now Brad's up to Brad Holmes, which I kind of be critical of him for drafting all these injured players. But we'll see with Pascal. I don't think we're going to ever see Levi again on the field because a back injury, you just never know with that. But – I feel like the offense clicking, but with this defense, we have to get talent. We have to get playmakers. And with this coaching, Aaron Glenn, I don't know. He made miracles last year. But this year, it's like, is it the talent? Is it that much less? Or it looks like it should have been a little bit better because you added Aiden and Rodriguez. So I'm with you now, Adam. Patricia screwed us so much, but it's like Aaron Glenn, I don't think he forgot how to coach defense in one season. It's just, I think That's it's a communication thing. That's and they're going to have to learn how to communicate. I, I agree with you. That is that is the one thing I am struggling with because I saw this guy put together a game plan in ball, uh, Excuse me, against Baltimore. I've seen him put together game plans against... Cleveland against Pittsburgh, whoever it may be down the stretch last year, Arizona, where, damn, they, they played to a level that wasn't their talent. And that's all I'm asking again right. this year. That is your job as a coach. Do I think he's suddenly the worst defensive coordinator uh, ever? No, I don't. But I, it doesn't mean I'm not concerned. I, I think there is a, a, a clear hole in this defense whether it's talent whether it's coaching the two are not on the same page and look if simplifying the defense makes it better for them i really don't care at this point i just can't see a team right. not go a single game or excuse me a whole game without punting that is 
that is a tough it's look. And that's you know, I don't know how you feel that's about crazy. the record, but that's where I'm at. I'm not so mad about one and three. The, I'm more upset well, about with how the record, they're there. The record, I kind of expected it, but I'm with you. It's like how we got there. And all this criticism over Aiden Hutchinson, he a bust. That's nonsense. It's like you saw what the what he was doing the first two three games. Now teams like we not about to let Aiden beat us. We about to double team him. We about to put a tight end to knock him off. Like he's getting frustrated because he can't get there. But I guarantee next year if you put another dominant pass rusher on the other side of Aiden, he's gonna wreak havoc. He's showing he got all the potential. So everybody out there who's trying to call him a bust, calm your brakes. He okay. He'll be all right. Fair enough. Well, Eric, appreciate you coming in, man. Appreciate the call. Thanks so much, man. See you, Eric. Thank y'all. Have a good one. Yeah, you too.